Welcome everyone. In this session for the self-employed, we're going to see how to stop being a self-employed. So if you decided to stop working as a self-employed, you have to tell HMRC that you are not self-employed anymore or maybe you are not in sole trader business anymore. So you have to let the HMRC know and of course you have to submit your final tax return the year you decided to stop that year also you have to submit your tax return and through the tax return you need to tell HMRC that I am not self-employed business anymore or I'm not trading as a sole trader anymore so for that uh, purpose all you need to do you have to type on Google stop being self-employed and you will see that page will be open from the government site and from here all you need to do you need to click here tell HMRC you are to stop self-employment so you click here and as soon as you click here their page open and that will tell everything about the stopping self-employment so here you have to write the email address then you have to write the self-employment so it says tick if you are no longer self-employed so you tick here and after that you tell when did you stop working as a self-employed so you can write any date you like the date you stop your self-employment then you have to write your UTR number that is unique tax reference number here then you have to type the national insurance number here after that you write your details your name your date of birth or your title after that your permanent address that will be your home address and after that you need to write your previous address so that have to be written here because for the security reason HMRC want to see you are the person and you know all these questions answers after that if you ask someone to act as your agent on behalf of you then they have to fill their detail as well and once they fill everything then you go to the declaration page on the declaration page you need to write your full name and in which capacity you are completing this form you might say if you are in business you might say I'm the director or if you are the person who is self-employed you can say your name like I'm the self-employed so you can nominate yourself after that you click agree with the declaration and you write the date and after that you hit the next button and after that you submit so once you submit from here stop being a self-employed then HMRC will give you a confirmation email and tell you thank you very much for let us know you are not self-employed anymore if you read it notification here they said please note HMRC are unable to accept a date earlier than seven days before the date you stop self-employed so you have to um, you have to consider this option so you have to tell HMRC at least seven days uh, obviously otherwise uh, HMRC might say like uh, they will not take it so it's a very clear instruction they will be unable to accept a date earlier than seven days before the date you stop uh, self-employment uh, so after that once you submit this information so you have to wait like at least seven days go then you can submit your information to HMRC and uh, one more information that is like you have to submit your tax return for example if you are in middle of the year and you think okay well, I'm in June and the last tax year was submitted for April let's say 1920 so after April I haven't done anything but of course you still need to submit your tax return if it is after April even if it is zero even if it is nil still you have to submit your tax return and let the HMRC knows like you cease the trading you are not working as a self-employed and I have a advice for everyone even if you are uh, fill this form submit but always double check with the HMRC after a couple of weeks give a call to them and let uh, them uh, uh, let them check like is they receive the confirmation or they have updated your account so sometimes it takes some time or maybe it's not submitted properly and you think you already tell HMRC you are not self-employed anymore but maybe at the end of the year they send you another letter for their self-assessment 
and they might give you some penalty as well so you need to always check with hmrc they received your um, uh, you received your request and they updated your account